I'm an epidemiologist. When I heard about the Robert Johnson Health Policy Fellowship Program, I didn't think I wanted to move to Washington or become a federal administrator, but I was absolutely smitten by health policy. And a few years after my fellowship, I got a call from the White House saying, would you be interested in coming down to Washington and being Assistant Secretary of Energy for Environment, Safety, and Health? What the Energy Department does is make nuclear weapons and clean up the waste we made making weapons. I was responsible for protecting the health of workers, of communities, and the environment around nuclear weapons facilities across the country. Before I got to the Energy Department, the official position of the U.S. government was that we had never made anyone sick making nuclear weapons. And that was a position taken to protect the mission of the agency during the Cold War. But by 1999, we had sick people all across the country who had been exposed to radiation, beryllium, a lot of other chemicals. And the Cold War was over. There was no reason to defend this old position. I brought the issue up to the secretary who brought to President Clinton, who apologized to the nuclear weapons workers and said, yes, we did make people sick. Based on much that I had learned through the fellowship program and then some work I did subsequently funded by the RWJ Foundation, I proposed a program that would treat these nuclear weapons workers like they were federal employees off of a workers' compensation program. The legislation was co-sponsored by Ted Kennedy and Strom Thurmond because I knew how to essentially craft it in a way that would be appealing across the board. Congress passed that legislation. It's given out $6 billion to the families of workers who were sickened or died from radiation or beryllium exposure. It was very successful. And there's no question I couldn't have done that without the Robert Wood Johnson Fellowship.